Hello, welcome to Studio News. Um, it's been pretty quiet in the studio. I'm, I've been doing some work on the computer and trying to get back to my emails, um, doing little things. Um, the Instagram stuff's still fun. Um, I wanted to talk about that because it's kind of confusing. It's, it's fun, but, and I meet a lot of nice people, and there's so many good people, and the troll stuff doesn't bother me that much, and, uh, but I've never done anything like Instagram before, and it's not really like me to show paintings and stuff like that. It's the paintings that make me feel a little bit disingenuous to show them like that on the internet or on Instagram. But ultimately it does help me enjoy what I do more. It helps me to uh, appreciate the richness of like what I cultivate as a person and it feels good to interact with others you know pertaining to like being creative and just living life and all that um, on Instagram I like to share little things that I'm kind of excited about but but uh, it's a little frustrating the half-life of something on Instagram is so short. Uh, it just disappears. But personally, like, I like looking at my Instagram and going back in my history of uh, what I've done. I've never really had an uh, a archive like that of just all the little things that I do, um, sharing it's, I guess I could do it privately, but sharing it's just part of the, it's the new thing for me. It's embarrassing to share, but um, I just, I can't care. I can't care about that, because uh, the alternative is, is just letting my life keep going the way it was going and I wanted to do something a little bit differently. Um, the frustrating thing about Instagram too is that you get into like, it makes you more normal because you have to conform to this certain thing to get people to pay attention to what you're doing enough that it feels like you're doing it right. But I don't want to conform to that. I mean, I'm already conforming enough participating in Instagram, but I don't want to be more twisted up and trying to fulfill someone's up, uh, someone's expectations. It's just not what I want to do is do the same thing, like just show paintings and stuff. But I mean, it's clear to see that people like paintings. And so I'm just going to keep mixing it up. The funny thing is, is the paintings, putting the paintings on there isn't really me. It's just something I've never done. The the like normal, the me being me stuff is more what I wanted to share. But yeah, it does make me uncomfortable. Instagram's also funny because if you don't feed it, it starts to cry like a little baby. 
like uh, that needs something and you have to block out that crying thing. Uh, it's just new to me. That's why I'm discussing it and thinking about it because periods of time go by where I have no interest in it and then I feel guilty. And I know it's silly to pay so much thought to it, but I, I don't care because I treat it like a, an experiment. Well, that's all I'm going to say about that for now. Um, and then I have uh, sports news. The sports news is, is that I have not been doing anything physical, so I got to start doing some stuff. I've been walking a lot. That feels good, walking like a few miles a day, but more like movement I can make myself do. I've been in a rut. So I haven't been doing any sports stuff. Uh, and the weather, the weather is cold, which is great. I mean, it's good if you're painting fast. Your stuff, the heat and the dryness of the air helps all the paint um, harden up sometimes too quickly. But that's the weather, you know. The more humid it is, the more you have time to manipulate everything. Um, and finally, I wanted to talk about my show downtown at Will Schott Gallery, 17 Pike Street. It was a jewelry show. It opened, um, I don't know, maybe November 2nd or something. But I w thanks everybody who came to that and is going to that. I think it's up till the middle of January. The jewelry show is like a bunch of little sculptures. Like, I'm really excited to be making those, making things with my hands again, since I haven't done ceramics in so long. And that was a great opportunity to learn a lot about everything. I love working with Will, Will Schott. Um, He's a, he's a unique person who works in his own way, and he gets a lot done nonchalantly, which I really appreciate, because that's what I hope to do. Also, um, I like doing shows downtown. I like the way, I like the scale of the shows. I feel like I did a really good show there. If you disregard the jewelry and just look at the paintings, the cabinets that I made, I think it's a good show as well. It looks good at night, which is, there's a lot of night now with the, it gets dark so early. But if you're downtown, go look at it. And you can try on some of the stuff. Like they're kind of like interactive sculptures. But uh, thanks everyone who's checked that out in real life or online or came to the opening. It was fun. All that's a blur. It happened really quickly, but it's fun. I love doing shows, and I love doing shows in New York um, because I live there, and all my friends can see them in real life and anybody a lot of people go through New York so um, it's different than uh, it's different it's, and also you can pinpoint the shows more because you can just keep moving stuff over from your studio or you have this flexibility 
which I really enjoy. But that's it. That's enough studio news. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Uh, signing off. Cut. Cut. <laughs>